Hey, it's Jeff. Welcome back, Ring Country Custom Baits. Today we got a cool painting session for you. Uh, we're going to be painting eight lures, three different colors, all in one run. So a multiple color run. Uh, so if you're interested in something cool like that, stick around. We're going to go spray some paint. All right, so before we get to spraying some paint here and switch up to the next camera, I thought I'd uh, tell you kind of what's unique about this. Uh, I've had several viewers, you know, ask questions about what do you do when you've got multiple orders coming in. Uh, and so what I try to do is if that order or multiple orders come in and we're, I'm going to be using four different airbrushes uh, and I'm going to be using a lot of the same colors and I'll try to paint all of those lures in one setting. This is a multiple run color video, two different customers, eight lures, three different colors. So let's go spray some paint, man. Get started. These uh, got three here that have been uh, already base coated. I um, want to let you know I've done all of these patterns uh, in few in previous videos. I'll leave a uh, I'll leave a link up there in the top of the screen for uh, this one is emerald shad or sometimes referred to as blue uh, green shad so I'm just going to go over the top of that one the top half of the bait with uh, a black magenta and this is just to get kind of our scale patterns to really pop on the lure I'm not going to bore you with doing every one of these baits. This video would be entirely too long, but uh, anyway, just doing a quick change up on this particular color. Uh, we're going to fix and get into the ghost pattern next. Okay, for the ghost minnow, we're just going to do a little raspberry belly. It's real light. Just the lower half of the bait. Just put a little pink color into it, a little raspberry, right? Kind of gives those fish something to target on to. The third different color. Uh, this is our ghost thread fin. We're gonna do a little blue along the shoulders. I'm just blowing more air than I am paint. Uh, I want this to be pretty light, but just above that lateral line, and hit it with that blue. Go a little darker up here. A little bit around the nose and the eyes there. We're actually going to be doing four of these. So again, I'll not bore you with watching every one of them go on. Uh, we'll uh, cut to the next thing, or we'll go we'll go fast speed. How about fast speed right here? Next base we're going to start with on this one, and again, this is a thread fin. We're going to do a little canty magenta on the belly and the bottom half of the lure, just real light. Just dust it. Start in the middle and kind of work down. 
That way you'll get a little bit darker as you go. And the overspray. The next step we need to whiten this bait back out. So we're gonna lay down our scale mesh. And go over that real good. That's gonna leave our dark scale lines. I'm just gonna go ahead and heat set that. So that when I put the, this back in there, it doesn't smudge it. And we'll go ahead and hit the other side. We'll do that on the other three lures as well. Whoop, about got the wrong thing. Bait's whitened back out. We'll go down the back. And there's the start of our emerald scale. We come back with our blue green. Just lightly over those scales so that still runs through. For a ghost minnow, we've got our tequila candy. We'll go over the top, just above that light blue we put in. Definitely around the face, we'll darken it up around the eyes. And we'll go ahead and hit uh, Your gill plate a little darker here. Sometimes I'll just use something like this to kind of keep me in lines. If I'm wanting to isolate a particular area, you don't have to do this because one, we've got that color going down the side, but uh, I just prefer having a little extra on this cheek bone right here. Don't want to get too much overspray on that center. Yet. All right, so there's our ghost minnow with tequila. Let me darken that up a little bit more down the back. Top of those shoulders. What we've got loaded up here is we're back again to our. Uh, thread fin shed. We need to get a little bit of scale pattern put on it. And so we're going to shoot some pearl white through and onto that body so that uh, we can break, kind of break up those colors a little bit and watch the pearl white. It's, try not to move your mesh. That's the first thing. That'll just really break that up. Again, I'm going to heat set that. Puts a little bit of scale on it. Definitely add some sheen to it. We'll go ahead and hit the other side. We've got three more of these to do. And we'll come back with some colors for the other ones as well. Doesn't have to be real dark. That pearl is really going to be It'll be pretty transparent. As you can see, it puts down a nice little scale pattern. Kind of breaks up those blues and adds some definition. And again, depth to the bait. 
we're adding depth. So there's our scale pattern. We'll do that on uh, three other baits and we're gonna move back on through the next pattern. So hang tight. What we're doing here is just adding a little pearl white to the belly. Darken it up just a little bit. Okay, so on a ramble shed, we're going to cover that with some hot, hot rod sparkle blue. A very transparent paint that has blue flake in it. So it adds a lot of sparkle to your bait. You know, it generally takes a couple of different coats of this. So we got, while we're getting one on here, We'll go ahead and hit those other two as well. So there you go. We'll come back and do a couple more coats. We'll show you uh, our next step in the frost. Okay, so back to our ghost thread fin here. We're going to use our comb, put some vertical gray bars on, and kind of top the back off. Not real dark, just kind of brush it. A little bit, maybe a different Q-tip. That one's getting old. Hit that. Then we're going to put a little gray around our darken the eye up. Right down that back. Do a quick heat set and we'll finish these others up. Ghost minnow, we need uh, get a jet black in here. Any black will work, just a good dark color. We'll go right down that back, let some overspray. I like to darken up right around my eyes just a little bit, let them make those eyes kind of stand out away from the bait. It's got to have that black back as well, so. down around its face and a little bit into that cheek there because I want that gold to really stand out. Next color we got up is our gold highlights around this eye, just behind it, and onto that gill flap. A little bit up at the top of the bait, just a few random spots. Nothing, nothing set in concrete on that. So again, a little gill right behind the eye, a little gold, and some random spots down the back. All right, we want to come back with black, go right, real light. This one's not near as dark. I am going to do it a little bit right around the eyes. Kind of top that bait off. Okay, all these uh, particular paint patterns we're doing today deserve a uh, shed spot. So we're going to use our little handy hole sizer and we're going to put that right above that hook hanger. Just like that. So do the same thing on our minnow. Or no, this is our thread fin. Go a little bit smaller on him. Just have that, that kill dot. All of them need a kill dot. You've seen how we put together a two different customers orders and uh, kind of the process it goes through. Now, you know, I'm going to edit out quite a bit of this so it's not too long and boring for everybody, but uh, that's, the, that's the basic process. So, you know, there were several color changes within this, but again, a lot of these 
Uh, we was able to use multiple times, and let me break out two or three of these. And again, this is just after I finish, so here's our three different color patterns. The four clear coat uh, that we've got. This is our ghost thread fin. This is our ghost minnow, and that's our emerald shad, also known as blue green shad. So. I appreciate you guys uh, checking out this channel. I hope uh, it's been informative and learned a little something about it. Like this video, give me that thumbs up, and definitely subscribe. I've noticed uh, like 65% of people watching this forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, and, you know, if it's not for you, it's not for you. But if so, please consider subscribing if this is some content that you like and enjoy. Uh, and until next time, go wet a hook.